Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Xenosaga Episode 3. Last time, we made our way through most of the rest of this dungeon. There are two rooms left. Let's go. Kevin. And we get random cutscenes of Kevin and that's it. Kevin. Kind of weird. Okay, sure. Xi'an. And Mary, too. Welcome. Kevin, I... I know. You're scared, aren't you? You don't know what you should do, or even who you are. You don't know where you belong. You don't need to be afraid any longer. I'll give you those answers. Kevin... Somehow I doubt that. I once felt the same way as you do. There's actually a good contrast between the two of these characters. Um, my neuroses about Xion's kind of transformation over the course of the game aside, the fact that uh, Kevin and Xion both lost family early on in their lives, and the fact that they've come about it in completely different ways, you know, as they've grown older, they both worked for the same company for a while, but since then they've kind of definitely gone different ways. They have different perspectives, different outlooks on the situation. So I kind of like that dynamic. When this planet was destroyed, I lost everything, even my sense of who I was. It was then that he appeared before me. Wilhelm, you mean? Wilhelm? Vector CEO? How come nobody knows this by now? He's a lot more than that. This is what he said to me. He said flashback. This is important. Because of a certain phenomenon, our world is on the path to destruction. And as we've kind of been led to believe at this point, Wilhelm doesn't seem to age. Because this is what, 20 years ago or something like that? Because this is younger Kevin than we've ever seen him before. The universe is slowly but surely being destroyed. No one can stop it, even if they had the power of God. Nice jab at Dimitri, gotta love it. The universe is going to die? But do not despair. There is one way to save this universe. Really? And that's eternal recurrence? It's what now? If we are fated to die, and we shall stop our history at a certain point and restart it. It's an interesting kind of take on uh, resurrection and all that kind of stuff. Interesting idea, not that I want to experience and it. And we shall repeat that process eternally. So we go from start to a predetermined end and then cycle through it over and over again. That sounds kind of boring. How do you feel about our world? What do you want to do with this world that drove you into the pit of despair? Now, if you think about it at this point, this is super young Kevin. And like I said, at the start of the game, that cutscene, his mother turned into a gnosis right in front of him and he was shot off. So he really doesn't like the world right now. I hate the world. A universe like this one is better off gone. And then I can live in a new universe with mom. Child's interpretation. That's a good answer. You should accomplish that dream. Manipulating children, Wilhelm. You bastard. I'd be happy to aid you, Kevin Winnicott. Yeah, he's, uh, he's been manipulating Kevin for a long time at this stage. He'd been preparing for this since before the loss of Lost Jerusalem. Yeah, by the way, Wilhelm wasn't lying when he spoke to Margulis. He's basically been around forever, for lack of a better term. That's a long time to be around. Based on that, I would presume that he has some form of immortality, or he's not quite human, or something, but they haven't explained much of it yet. Don't worry, we got one more room to go. Ormus 
Vector, even the Federation all existed under his will. That's true. After that meeting, I joined the Zohar research team as Joachim Mizrahi's assistant to prepare for the day that would come. To awaken Mary Magdalene, I created Cosmos as her vessel. In it, I placed her consciousness, which had dissipated in the UMN and entrusted her to you. Okay, again, I'm going to make a little note about this again. The UMN has been labeled in this game as the collective subconscious or the collective unconscious of humanity, basically. And just like Nephilim was able to get herself lost in the UMN and uh, parts of Lemageton were split and run through um, through the UMN and then put back together by uh, Vernum Grimoire. And this seems to be the case that seems to be able to happen for pretty much everyone. Based on whatever situation, the UMN seems to be a place where you can survive eternally in one form or another, or rather, with no form. So, everything went according to plan? I feel sick just hearing it. Yeah, it's kind of an evil plan. You heard him, Shion. He planned everything from the beginning. He was Wait just using minute. you as well. What else could he have planned? Kevin, when you died, was that all just an act? Ooh. No, it was real. I died on that day. In order to obtain power, it was necessary to cast aside my physical body. I needed to deepen your bond with Cosmos for Mary's awakening. He planned his own By death. Removing myself from your life. I can't believe it. You've got to be kidding me. Everything you've done has been a lie. Pretty much. You're the biggest con I've ever met. And considering this game, that means something. Xi'an, I'm sorry about what I've done to you. But I want you to understand. To save you and the world, I had no choice. With this power, I can free you from the terror of death. I can spend eternity with you. I want to save you, Xi'an. Kevin. I don't want anything to do with you, bud. How can you say that? Alan! Finally standing up for sound, yourself. But in the end, all you were doing was using her. It's to protect her life. You think you're allowed to do anything you want if you think it'll protect someone's life? That it's all right to ignore the Chief's feelings? I refuse to accept that way of doing things. You refuse to accept it? Do I need to request your approval? The fact is, she will die. Are you saying that you will accept Xion's death? That you will abandon Xion to her suffering? No, I... That's... But... Pathetic. If the world could be saved through passion, all of this would have been unnecessary. That's true. Now, come, Xi'an. You've done more than enough. You don't need to sacrifice yourself anymore. It's all right to think about your own happiness. You know, don't you, that there's no place for you there. There's always a place for you here. <sighs> Chief, don't go! Listen, you bastard! Leave Xion alone! What? Stop! Don't hurt him! Xion? Are you serious? Xion. Jin? Xion, you know what he's trying to do. There is a shadow in his heart, and yet you still intend to go with him? I don't know. I don't know what I should do. It's pretty simple. We kill I'm him tired. like everyone else. I don't want to hurt anymore. None of you saved me. Only Kevin has made a place for me. We've all tried. None of us want you to suffer. Don't you understand that? 
I do understand, but that's why I hate it. I've had my fill of pity. And isn't it already too late? It's not like you understand other people's feelings. Oh, I'm sure he does. If you had, Pellegrin might not have had to die. He tried to prevent Shield. that. Chief, that's not true. And that's a low blow. So then you're serious about this? Yes. That's right. I've decided that I'm going to go with him. You've got to be Don't kidding me. Anymore. Three games. Now you betray I us? I understand. Jin, stop! No matter what happens, I intend to do what I must to save our world. Make sure your decision reflects that. But, Jin... Xion, you've got to stop this! There's still time! You've got to listen to him, Xion. Please don't go. You can see her torn apart. I'm sorry. Xion! That's enough. Just give up. But in the end, Xion has made her decision. She makes the wrong Your roles choice. roles are over now. Stand down and listen to the words of God. Like hell I will. Look, Xion. If that's what you're gonna do, I'm not holding back! I'm bringing you with us even if I have to beat you up! There's a shocker for ya! Xion, it's our enemy. Yeah. First things first. Steal from Xion. And fail. That works too. But uh, you do want to steal from Xion. She She's has a unique item. The research uniform. And Kevin also has a unique item. Ether drive. Which, of course, I'm going to be unable to steal. Xion fights this battle much like you would I'm expect sorry, her to. But I'm afraid I can't hand over my sister to you. You'd let your own sister die? What a heartless brother. Purify wave? I don't think you're purifying anybody at this point, bud. Let's try and get that item. The white shirt. Okay. With that done, we can go with some skin down. And some offensive for us. Ether drive. And then we can start wailing away on Xion. Yes. And she, yeah, she basically fights like she you would expect her to fight. She has beam type attacks, some status buffs, and all that kind of stuff. Oh yeah, the other thing I want to do, since they did uh, recover her, um, oh geez. Yeah, let's get rid of their support, because that's annoying. Now, let's use some ability. Raging C3 now. No criticals, but nice, some nice damage. Now that we've unlocked pretty much all of our other skills, we have a lot more options, like Fallen Leaves, and every, pretty much everyone's got an attack that hits all. Oddly enough. Please, don't interfere. Leave me alone. Xion was one of the few... Ah, you missed. Xion was one of the few characters who didn't have an attack that hits all enemies. But that doesn't really matter now. Purify wave. As you can tell, stop with that. This battle, not particularly difficult. Counter. Or revenge, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, let's do some dragon dance on you. Finish strike. Not really the uh, I want this to end. Please understand. most difficult battle. I won't allow you to harm Shion. Ah. 
now he's a little more powerful. I don't think it really changes much if you defeat Kevin before, but as you can see, there's not a lot of HP here. Uh, twin Impact is something we haven't had all that much of until now. Two hits, as you can see, that's pretty useful. And yeah, this battle is not particularly difficult. Um, I don't even want to do that. Let's do a fist down. And then we'll have somebody finish the job. Now, unfortunately, because of the way things are working out uh, toward the latter half of the game, yeah, a four minute boss fight at this stage in the game. Look at all that EP or SP though, very nice. Shion doesn't get any, but at this point, do I really care? And you get a union ring, and I didn't mean to do that because as I was trying to say, the what we have left here in the game is relatively small and there are a lot of longer cutscenes. So what I've done is I've actually gone ahead and kind of scheduled out where I have my stopping points so that the episodes don't get super, super long. And then we're going to have like an hour long finale that I'll have to break into pieces, but I'm trying to balance things between 15 and 25 minutes in between there. It's just rather difficult. So some are going to be a little shorter, some a little longer. But that's pretty much all the time I have for today. Next time, we will finish said cutscene and then move on. That's all for this one, and I'll see you guys next time.